I was mentioning in the beginning that I was in two minds. Should we continue with Chakra Sadhana Module 2 or should we do purification of the elements and balancing the ecology? And I believe that the need of the times is balancing the ecology. Now, the Vedic system of balancing the ecology means that we have to balance, we have to energize, and we have to activate the five elements, the Pancha Mahabhutas, Prithvi, Jal, Agni, Vayu, Akash. And when we are able to connect with these elements, we are able to connect with the entire cosmos because the entire creation is based on these five elements. These five elements come, are evolutes. They evolve from Purusha and Prakriti according to the philosophy of yoga. So when we are connecting with these five elements indirectly, we are connecting with our, the highest two principles, Purusha and Prakriti, which is the causal basis of the entire universe. But from there, they come to the manifestation through uh, and pro a process of evolution of the elements. And I believe that it will be most useful not only for us, but also for the entire humanity in general. And so I have decided that I will start with the eco-balancing. And this eco-balancing has to happen external and internal. Havan is a very powerful method of connecting with the ecological forces external and ecological forces internal. Gurudev Swami Satyananda had spoken that Yajna is a celebration of that moment in time when humanity discovered fire. And when that happened, then the consciousness of human beings took a quantum leap from apes, we jumped into a different dimension. And therefore, it works on the internal dimension as well as external dimension. And it is essential to understand the science of this. And it is my desire that once we complete this workshop, that we should take a sankalpa that regularly we will perform this practice for purification of, for the balancing of, for maintaining harmony in the ecological systems. This will not take too much of time, 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. But, and, and you can take a choice. Do you want to do it daily? Do you want to do it alternate days? Do you want to do it twice a week? Or do you want to do it once a week? And I'm sure if you are serious about purifying the tattvas within and balancing the ecology outside, then you will be able to at least take out 15 minutes in a week. I don't believe we are so busy that we can't take that much time out. If we are that busy, either we are stronger and better 
and more focused than the biggest industrialists or we are occupying ourselves in useless pursuits only one of the two we have to check what we are doing but if we are serious about making a change in the environment then i believe it is high time that we come together and do this it is enough to keep on listening and saying that oh the ecology is going bad oh there is global warming oh the rains have become erratic oh this has happened and that had had happened and give long lectures on that swami shivananda used to say an ounce of practice is worth much more than a ton of theory we have had enough of theory now the time to do has come so uh, soon after deepavali i will be starting this one month workshop on balancing the tatvas purifying the tatvas and balancing the ecosystems this workshop is open for everybody and this workshop will work on the internal as well as the external because the vedantic vedic philosophy says yatha pinde tatha brahmande what is there in the microcosmos is same thing which is there in the macrocosmos the principles are the same so we need to work with both not just one how to do it in today's times not getting caught up in all the accessories that is what we need to understand that is what we need to know we have to know what are the basic principles and how we can use those principles for self improvement self enrichment and enrichment around us so that is what we will be doing and i hope we can start a movement from that course onwards where we can bring in more and more people 10 minutes 15 minutes every day and we can make a change in the environment around us in the environment within us and then together we can make an en- change in the environment which is beyond all of us so that is the need of the times and that is what we shall be starting after deepavali we will send out all the details please share this information with as many people whom you feel are interested because this is a very important application of yoga this is also a very crucial requirement for our society because if we don't manage the environment now then the future is bleak what are we going to give the newer the coming generations the picture is not rosy at all it's very bleak and if we have to make a change then we have to come together remember that one string is very weak but when 20 30 40 50 strings come together and they form a rope then that rope is able to even perform amazing deeds that is what we have to try to do come together unify from all the points where we are in and work towards making a change in the environment in the collective consciousness and that should come up. so that is something which i have decided and let us take it forward we will share the details with you later on hari om tat sat namo narayana